hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi and I'm so happy that you're here today I am coming to you with the weekly grocery haul today I did go to Trader Joe's and Ralph's um, those are the two stores that I go to every single week so here is what I picked up I will start with Ralph's first and then I'll do Trader Joe's um, and I don't have very much this time I only picked up two bags in each store um, mainly because I want to kind of use up the stuff we already do have so this is just complementary to what we already do have and I'll be cooking this week um, so for starters I only picked up one of the yogurts that I always get which is the light and fit Greek and this one is the strawberry cheesecake um, we still have a couple left over from last week so I only picked up one this time and then I did pick up the Laughing Cow Wedges in the light. Um, I eat these pretty much every single day with the Trisca crackers. Those are the best snacks. A um, couple of crackers with one of the wedges. So good. The complete staple every single week. And then I also picked up a Skippy um, Chunky Peanut Butter. Uh, my husband and I, we, I don't know what we were watching yesterday, but something came up with chunky peanut butter. I was like, wow, we haven't had peanut butter in a really long time. So I just picked up a chunky one. Um, we both really like the crunch of the peanuts and I got some bananas, which are actually right here. Some organic bananas and peanut butter and bananas, another really good snack. So picked that up to go together. And then I picked up one of the big um, little bags of the Baby Bell in the light as well. I usually buy the smaller ones, but I just picked up the big one because we, we snack on these pretty much every single day as well. So picked that up. So last bag from Ralph's is I picked up my another staple every single week, the hard boiled eggs. This is the Kroger brand. This is the cage free hard cooked and peeled eggs. They do have some organic ones as well. Um, some organic eggs like this that are already hard boiled, but I think they only sell them in packs of two. And then these ones they sell in packs of six. So I just picked this up every single morning with an avocado, maybe some hummus or like a small thing of guacamole and like everything but the bagel seasoning. Great breakfast. And then I picked up some cilantro, just some plain organic cilantro. Pick that up. And then another staple I always pick up are the blackberries. I picked up the Driscoll brand. Um, I also picked up the Driscoll blueberries. Um, these ones are like the jumbo size, as you can see, these are bigger ones. They still don't have the ones I used to purchase, the ones that are jumbos. I, I, I'm just gonna guess they don't carry them anymore. So I ate these last week. They were really good, actually. I actually really like the Driscoll's brand. Um, I tried it last week, really liked it. So I picked up another one this week. And then one thing I'm gonna make this week is going to be some Greek pitas um, with like cucumber and like dill, etc., and like Greek yogurt. So I picked up some bread to try to make that with and I picked up the Greek pita flat bread, but I picked up the whole wheat. Um, the white bread of this one though, oh my God, it is so good. But I picked up the whole wheat for us this time. So got that. I also picked up two limes and I picked oh yeah it's in here oh they fell out I picked up two lemons uh, so two limes and two lemons which is another staple every single week and then I picked up three tomatoes um I, I love the ones that come on the vine already so I picked up three tomatoes on the vine um, I just feel like they last longer when they're on the vine when they're loose um I feel like they don't really last for, for very long so and then last item is another big batch of strawberries. And this one is by Mainland Farms. It says product of Mexico. I, tell me if you guys have been noticing this as well, but I feel like the produce, like when you buy it, it's like already going bad. I don't, I don't know. Um, I struggled to find a good batch of strawberries today. And even now that I'm looking at it, uh, there's a couple in here that just are not that great. So as I wash them, I'll, I'll just get rid of them which sucks because strawberries are pretty pricey like they're not they're not cheap by any means so let's move this over here so I can go through that but that's all I picked up from Ralph's and then I have two bags from Trader Joe's so I'll just jump right in on those I picked up one thing of the Trader Joe's organic microgreens I love this stuff I I actually forget to purchase it for some reason unless I actually write it down, but this is so good on top of a rice cake with some tuna, 
Um, even some, even this with some egg, like hard boiled egg and avocado with on top of this, on top of a rice cake. So, so good. I love this stuff. My husband is not a fan. And one of my best friends, when I told her I love this stuff, she's like, this looks like something my dog eats when he has a stomach ache, which was hilarious to me. I, I understand that not everybody likes to eat a lot of veggies, but this stuff is so good. So if you like the crunch and you like something simple, this is delicious. And then I picked up some organic creamy mushrooms, which is another staple every week. Um, I had to refill on my dog's treats. These are from Trader Joe's. They're the smoked chicken tenders. I picked up two bags. These are so good. If you have a dog, these are delicious. The only ingredient in this is deboned chicken. It's literally just smoked chicken breast. It's so good. My dog loves this stuff. Um, I have to constantly be buying backups because he just, my, my husband loves to give him treats and he loves to eat those. So buy those regularly. Um, I picked up an organic baby spinach and spring mix blend. Um, I'm gonna use this for the pitas and actually one other dish um, I have planned. And then I also picked up another staple that I, that I get regularly is the peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. Um, these are just so good to grab a handful when you're hungry and you're not like ready to have a full meal. Those are delicious. I picked up another of the organic toasted sesame oil. I love to cook with this stuff. I was trying to find their soy sauce. Trader Joe's, their reduced soy, um, reduced soy sauce is so good. It is on, I don't know what it is about that soy sauce. It literally tastes like soy sauce, but the ones that they make is just delicious. Um, I wanted to pick up another one today. They don't have it. Thankfully, we still have some, so we're okay. But I like to buy backups when I know we're running low. And they didn't have it today for some reason. It was sold out. So I'm gonna have to pick that up next week if they have it. But if you are looking for a really good soy sauce that's reduced and it doesn't take away the taste of soy, oh my gosh, try that one. That's such a good soy sauce. Um, and then I also picked up a shredded green cabbage. I like to mix this with like um, sour cream and put a little bit of like lemon oil, not lemon, sorry, lemon juice, not lemon oil. Actually, lemon oil might be good too, but lemon juice. Lemon juice with this is delicious. So picked that up because I'm going to be making posadas this week, I think. So that, and then here is the very last bag. I picked up another of the Trader Joe's broccoli and kale slaw. This is just a salad, um, but this is a really, really good salad. Uh, my husband shockingly really likes this and he hates kale. So if you know somebody who does not like kale, but you wanna try and sneak it in, try this salad. The salad is delicious. This, I think it's the dressing. I mean, granted, it probably, yeah, it's a little bit high in sugar, but it's really good if you get veggies in it. <laughs> so try that. Uh, another staple I get every single week are the diced onions. This just makes cooking easy. It just makes it so, so easy. So every, every week, pick that up. And then this one's new. This is something I just figured we'd try. I, I did buy the baby bells, but my husband and like my husband and I like to snack on cheese. Um, so I picked up the sharp cheddar cheese um, snack pack, and it's just basically cheddar squares. I don't know if you can see that in there. It's just cheddar squares. Um, we usually buy like mozzarella, Colby Jack, but I just wanted to try something different. So grab that. I also grabbed a pack of the Heart and Field Organic Broccoli Florets. So uh, this is another staple I pick up all the time. It's just really good filler for food. You know, I love to throw in vegetables into our food um, and broccoli is one of our favorites. So this one's really good. Picked that up. And then I picked up two of these. These are the Trader Joe's um, Herbs de Provence potato wedges. Sorry if I said that one. Province? Oh, Herbs, herbs de Provence. Okay, potato wedges. These are in the frozen section, so these will go in our freezer. But they're just fried potatoes coated in herbs and olive oil. So really simple, just potatoes, uh, potato wedges. I picked these up because I do want my husband to grill us some steaks for dinner on Friday. So we're gonna have some steaks along with the potato wedges. And I'm also going to get some corn, some frozen corn and probably make like a cream of corn as well. So that's gonna be for dinner on Friday. And then I picked up the organic Persian cucumbers. 
Uh, these are great. I love to eat these with ranch or hummus. Um, I love to cut these up and put them in salads, etc. I love Persian cucumbers, so that's another staple we usually get. Um, another thing I'm gonna be making this week is going to be uh, chili, just because it's it's been really cold. So I'm gonna make us some chili one of these nights, and I picked up one of the cans of the beef chili with beans. So I basically just use this as a base. I will make an entire batch of turkey, ground turkey, um, and I will add this to it along with a can of diced tomatoes and you know throw in some vegetables you know peppers onions etc and that is basically what i use to make the chili this is just the base to kind of use the juices of this the juices i said that wrong the juices of this of this can but i still add so much more to it that this is just really a small taste to it um maybe i'll try and record that this week just because i feel like the chili is so good and i would love to show you guys how to do that so i might end up recording that this week and then i picked up one tub of the mediterranean style hummus um this stuff is great i usually buy the small individual packs from costco because i like to take those to work um however oh, i probably should have waited because i think we're doing costco tonight Anyway, um, this one is delicious as well. So picked up this one. And then this is the very last item. This is just something I picked up for myself to have lunch today because I'm starving. I picked up the Trader Joe's Harvest Salad with grilled chicken. I just wanted something with protein. It, it comes with an egg, it has chicken in it. I just, I wanted something that was a little bit filling. This one is a really good salad. I like to get the Wardolf salad, but they were out of it today. So, and I'd like to pick up also the sushi from Ralph's, but they were just like kind of wrapping it up and I, I didn't want to stay and wait. So I, I didn't, I just, I picked up the salad at Trader Joe's instead. So this is going to be my lunch today. So that's all I picked up today from Ralph's and Trader Joe's. I have a couple of cooking videos coming for you guys this week. Uh, I did record two nights that I cooked. I cook pretty much six nights a week. So I'm gonna try and incorporate that as well because I feel like a lot of the food I make is very simple, but it's delicious. Um, so I'm, I think I'm gonna try and record a couple more of those to just kind of continue to give you guys ideas when it comes to food, um, you know, different dishes you can eat. And, you know, I like I said, I shop every single week, so you'll continue to get these videos. Please let me know if there's something in particular that you wanna see. I'm completely open to suggestions. Thank you guys so much for coming and supporting. I really, really appreciate it. Please like and comment. You know, all of those things really, really do help. And thank you. I just hope you know you continue to come back and I'll see you in my next one. Thanks. Bye.